Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is the second part of the exosuit refresh, but the whole series is much longer. So this is effectively Mark II of building a real working Iron Man exosuit, which is gonna have legs and arms which are powered and walk along when I do and make me really strong. The previous attempt is in pieces behind me. Check out the last video to see that being deconstructed. Today, we're gonna be building the hips and the back, hopefully, and moving some of the parts from Mark I onto the Mark II suit. So we're going to take some parts off the other suit, but we need to make the hip assembly, which are these red parts. So my uprights here, these poles and these slanty pieces are coming off the Mark I suit, but we've got several degrees of rotation here. So we've got a rotation around this axis. Of course, the legs rotate as well. And also we've got rotation around those towers. So that's three axis at the hip. So I've broken out the red parts into multiple pieces here that can be made of uh, multiple layers of plywood. The blue part is a 3D print that allows an axle to go through back to front. So we'll get those parts cut and marked out and see how it's looking. Here are all my pieces of plywood. So there's multiple layers there gluing together and we need to paint all of those black and then we can start seeing how they fit with the rest. So I've painted all my bits of wood black and all the glue has dried and we've got these 3D printed parts that slot neatly into them as well for the other axis. These are of course more Struder prints printed with a 1.2mm nozzle. The layers go uh, this way, so that was printed flat on the bed. So I'm a bit worried about this hole strength where we hinge for the hips. So I'm going to make a little insert that fits in there printed in the other orientation. This is also an 18mm hole and I need one that's 12mm. So again, we've got a recessed bearing there and we've got a bearing block with space for a bearing on both sides so we can clamp up against them. So this goes face down and we have another one on the top. There's my recessed bearing poking through the hole there so we can bolt up on it. So I need to take all these nuts off and change them for lock nuts and cut all the shafts off so this piece can be sandwiched in between the new assembly. These are the two sides of my hips. These pieces come back to make a thing that auto centers the suit, so we'll deal with those later. But both of the legs that exist now go in between this sandwich. And here they are. So those are attached now. We've got those bolts through, which are squashing the bearings together in the middle. So now we just need to put the parallel links on the outside and we can think about attaching this to the rest of the body. I've installed the parallel links now, so everything stays parallel, no matter what the pose of the leg top and bottom and the knee all stay parallel but I do think I need something else to stop the leg bending so I'm going to run another piece on the outside here of the bolts that runs parallel with the other box section steel and that should mean it's basically supported on two points which are parallel. So I've got some 2020 extrusion with these blocks on the end which are 3D printed and those are bolted on with T-nuts and these hold bearings top and bottom and these will go to the ankles and the hips and I just need something for the knee. Now there's not much space there because they both pivot on the same point. So we're just going to have some bits of metal with holes in screwed on. Right, well that's feeling a lot more substantial. Uh, they definitely feel a lot more solid and a lot less bendy. So uh, now we need to put the hips together so that I can lean this way. 
and also so I can rotate the legs this way. So for that, we need to steal some parts from the Mark I suit. And what we need from down here is a piece off the back here. So if I just pick this up, we need to undo these pillar pieces and these pieces, and hopefully these will go right into my new legs and we should have all of the pivot motions. These are in fact some of the best pieces from the old suit. They're made of stainless steel, aluminium and 3D printed nylon, so they're quite light and pretty tough. And this should fit exactly on my new hips. So that should go through the hole now that has its inserts in that more screw to print. I need to take some of those nuts away and do some adjustments, but that should fit pretty well. Okay, I've tied the legs up to this hanging space I made last time so they don't fall down because obviously they're not joined together and they're all limp at the moment because we haven't put the motors on. So now I need to install the back panel to join them together. So we need to make a panel to go between these fingers which basically makes the back panel of the suit again. Yes, it's a lovely piece of 18mm ply which I'm going to paint black like the rest. Here it is, let's get that screwed on. Well, it definitely looks better than the Mark I suit. Obviously, we've got a quite a way to go yet. I've ruined my colour scheme with these white parts, but I'm not going to reprint them all in red for now. So, now I need to clear some of the old suit from behind me and salvage some parts so we can put motors on in the next video. And what we need is a load of these blue motors, which are the motors which are going to power the legs and all the joints. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to redesign the gearboxes because they're absolutely massive compared to the legs, and we need to fit two of these in each leg now. So we could just about fit that on there, but I think I can make that much smaller because of the huge gaps in here, and we can definitely make these gears smaller, so for now I'm just going to take all the motors out. Now I'm going to need these drive belts as well, but I'm going to leave that attached to the motor for now, and we'll see what we've got in the end, because I've got a few more in my spares box. Well, there's still plenty more to strip down. A lot of people ask me where I keep all the projects. Uh, basically, what you see is what you get. So I need to make some space for the new suit and I also need some hardware off this one. So that's four motors and we've got two more in the legs which I haven't taken to pieces yet and a whole load of other hardware including loads of bearings, loads of brackets and all sorts of other things. 
I think I'm still going for the block and tackle approach, so I'm going to be keeping these. We'll have to see how those fit onto the new legs. The initial plan was to reprint the gears for the gearboxes so they're smaller and I can fit more in a smaller space, but actually I've got loads of these gears that are printed in nylon, so that seems a real shame. So maybe that I just align them differently so we can put them into a more compact space, something like that. And then we have the motor facing downwards over here, and we try and fit that into a nice square shape. So here it is now, I've cleared the space behind it. Pretty sure it looks better than the last attempt so far, but we'll obviously be able to put motors in and that's no problem hopefully, but will the control be better? And that's the main thing that's coming up in future episodes. So don't forget to check back next time to see me actually building gearboxes and getting those motors two in each legs, and we'll also do something about making it stand up in the middle, so hopefully at that point it should be self-supporting. And it's really important to note that all these projects are funded through Patreon, so have a look at my Patreon campaign at patreon.com xrobots, and you can get access to some exclusive rewards, including a live broadcast with me, all my videos early, and almost daily sneak peeks and pictures. Alright, that's all for now.